Hi, Lutmela here with Fashion Chalkboard. Today is a quick tip and inspiration on colors. I found this really cool um, article on Wikipedia. And if you go and go to wikipedia.org wiki and list of colors compact, you get like a whole list of colors. And as fashion designers, we have to come up with new color names for each season, for each new collection. And there's a lot of different colors from A to what is the last one that we have? Does anybody know anything with Z? And obviously we don't have to use the same color um, pixels here or if we use vectors, but we can. And I think it's a quick way. I usually tell my students, you can't just call your colors anything generic, such as blue, white, black. And it's a quick way to have some inspiration other than those generic names. and the great thing is if it is a very generic name such as black, you can just click on that and you can read a little bit more about the color, for example. And then as you scroll down, there's a lot of different inspiration that you could also name it. This one particular, you could use nighttime. Um, a popular one that I always use is annex, um, goth, and obviously you can read on and on and on. Another thing that's really great about this chart right here is that if you do happen to like any of these colors, for example, amaranth right here, obviously you see the history, the color, what is the actual flower, if that's what it's from. But then also sometimes you get this swatch with a code. And this code, if you highlight that, you can just press copy, which is control C or command C on your keyboard. And then in either software, Illustrator or Photoshop, if you um, just double click on any of the colors and open up the color picker, you can paste that code in there, Control and V or Command and V for Mac. And if I just click anywhere here, you can see that that's now the exact same color as we had on the web. And then I can use it. There we go. So once again, let's try another color. Oops, there we go. Maybe this antique fuchsia, it kind of goes down directly to this code. And once again, if I scroll up a bit, you get different, and this is a really nice example of different names, Fandango, fuchsia, fashion fuchsia, fuchsia, and an example of where that name comes from. And let's go to Photoshop, double click. So open up the color picker and paste that with our shortcut, Control V or Command V. That was my quick tip today. Obviously, there's a lot more about color that you want to learn. So check out my Facebook and my Twitter to stay updated when I have more tutorials. This is Ludmilla Adams. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.